When working with Selenium, web scraping and automation tasks can often face bans and blocks if you're not careful. There is where Proxies comes in, your ultimate tool to bypass restrictions, access geo-specific content and stay anonymous. In today's video, we will walk you through integrating Proxies with Selenium for seamless, worry-free automations. Let's dive in. Before we dive deeper, let's make sure that we have our libraries installed. To easy integrate proxies with Selenium, we're gonna use a library called Selenium Wire. Selenium Wire is an extended version of Selenium which offers extra advanced features like integration proxies where the authentication method is username and password, in this case residential proxies, also offers features like intercepting HTTP requests and debugging the network traffic. Besides Selenium Wire, we are also gonna use another library called WebDrive Manager. Usually, you have to download the WebDrive binary zip file from a browser and then specify the path to that WebDriver and input it into the Selenium. This problem is solved by this library called WebDrive Manager. Now let's go ahead and install these two libraries using pip. Now before we continue to the script, I just wanted to let you know about a problem or bug that occurs when using Selenium Wire. Since Selenium Wire is no longer maintained, it has some dependencies that we need to downgrade in order to make it run with Selenium Wire. This dependency is called Blinker and we are gonna need to downgrade this dependency to this specific version shown in the video. Now let's go ahead and uninstall this library first and then install this specific version which is 1.7.0. Now with the libraries ready, let's go ahead and explore the script. This is the script that we're gonna use to showcase the Selenium proxy integration. The link to the script can be found in the video description below. We start by first importing the necessary libraries which include Selenium Wire and WebDriver Manager. And next we have these three variables which is proxy address, proxy username and proxy password. And as you may have guessed, this is the information that we are going to fill in about our proxy. For Proxyscape users, the proxy address is going to be always the same. Now let's go ahead to Proxyscape Residential Dashboard and copy proxy username and proxy password. From Proxyscape Residential Dashboard, let's click on Proxy Setup. In this page, you can configure different configuration about your proxy. For this example, I'm gonna leave it to rotating residential proxies so I'm not gonna change anything from this configuration but if you want you can change the geolocation of your proxy you can also change the session duration which can be up to 120 minutes you can edit the number of proxy endpoints that you want to generate connection type and format now let's go ahead and copy username and password and paste it to the python script you can either copy it from the list here or you can go to overview page and on the right side you can simply copy them one by one. And next we have this dictionary which Selenium Wire uses to implement proxies into Selenium. And using the three variables above we can format a string and create a proxy endpoint. Next, we configure Chrome options to ensure that we have the best performance across different environments. These options are totally optional. You can even use the headless flag if you want to run your browser on headless. But these three options will run the Selenium browser in headed mode. Next, we have the service instance and this instance will link the web driver with Chrome driver. And it uses Chrome drive manager which we installed using pip command and as I said before it manages all the binary zip files for you automatically and next we create the chrome web driver instance and this instance will be configured with the three configuration that we just created 
which is the link to the WebDriver itself using WebDrive Manager, Selenium Wire options, which in our case are the proxy configuration, and the Chrome options that we just explained here. We use driver to send a request to this URL, which returns information about the request itself. And then we store the response in the response variable. And in the end, we print the entire response and we use a regex pattern to only extract the origin IP of the request in the HTML source. Let's go ahead and see this in action. Now, as you can see, this is the HTML response and using regex, we only parsed the origin IP, which is this one here. Now, since we choose the rotating proxy, we can go ahead and make another request just to make sure that our proxies are actually being rotated. And yes, as you can see, the IP is different, which means the proxies are actually being rotated. Now this was an example with residential proxies, but you may also need to integrate data center proxies. We are only gonna make a simple change in order to do that. Let's go ahead and grab an IP from Proxyscape Premium Dashboard. From Proxyscape Premium Dashboard, make sure that you have your IP authenticated first. You can do so by clicking on the IP authenticated page. And if you do not have your IP authenticated, you can click on add new IP button Click on this button here which will populate your IP in this field and then you can give it a label and hit save. With IP authenticated, click on proxy list and in this page you will be able to see your entire proxy list and simply copy an instance from this list. Let's go back to the python script and here we are gonna make a simple change. Instead of providing the proxy address, proxy username and proxy password, we're gonna instead provide this proxy IP that we just extracted. With that being said, let's go ahead and run the script and see how it goes. As you can see, the request was successful and we have the same origin IP address outputted here. So with this simple change, you can also integrate data center proxies with Selenium. And just like that, we can integrate data center proxies and residential proxies with Selenium. And now we can use Selenium for your web scraping tasks or web automation tasks without exposing your IP. Don't forget to like this video or comment with any questions or suggestions that you may have. See you in the next video.